Hello, Sam. Welcome Hello. to Vegan Camp Hour. How's it going? I'm um, just going to explain to your viewers. I'm keeping all the glass on. Looks just I'm trying to be cool. So I've got an absolute corker of a black eye, and it's right next to this main camera. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to chuck these on just so not be distracting. This the main camera, so that's just getting me. Oh, okay. Oh, that's oh. just getting me. Hello. Well, you can show it over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You Who's get the other <laughs> You're not one of those dickers that wear sunglasses in the No, no, you're no. trying to get oh, across. Come on, I'm just. It'll be distracting. Yeah. I hear you. Nah, you're cool enough that you can wear sunglasses. I'm outdoor. absolutely not cool. You are. I'll pull this off. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the sentiment. Um, is this your first time at Vegan Camp Out? Yes. It, it, I thought so. Have you been here for long or have you just got here? I feel like you've been here for a couple of hours. Right? Yeah, a couple of hours. I watched Face Off okay. in, in my bunk and yeah, it's amazing. Actually, I can't, I can't do this. I can't. <laughs> you're just going to get it out. I'm just going to just have Fair. a black eye on show. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for it. So, how do you feel so far? I know you haven't played yet, but being in a vegan festival, does it feel different at all? Um, it just feels wicked. Yeah. Everyone's walking around stoked. I got some wicked music playing uh, that we're enjoying from the bus. I mean, the rain is uh, like, if I've learned anything from this summer so far of festivals, usually makes the show better. Yeah. Um, I, I don't I know love why. That. There's something about it. People are just like, I'm soaked through. What have I got to lose? Kind yeah. of thing. Maybe there's an attitude of that. In um, but I think it's going to be a good show. Definitely. Yep. Honestly, we're so excited to have you here. That's stoked to be here. Can I ask you questions about veganism for a second? Yeah, of course. I will fumble these questions, but oh. I'm going to do my best. No one's perfect. <laughs> I'm the least perfect vegan ever, so you're in good hands. When did you first go vegan? About nine, was it nine years ago, probably something like that. Nine years. Wow, a long yeah. time. That's longer than me. And what made you go vegan? Uh, I just loved the animals. Um, yeah. Didn't feel comfortable. Um, I, I, I guess education ex as well, and not to, I can seem so um, aloof. So I probably just spending and watching that maybe isn't vegan, just interested and maybe would get put off by people saying, you know, that they're, or putting across the, the idea that they're only vegan because they're more educated than others. Yeah, and I, I, I think, think that nothing could be further from the truth. Yeah. That's coming from someone, um, myself and my partner owned a vegan cafe for three years. And we never called it a vegan cafe. It okay. was always just a, um, I don't even know what we referenced it as. I, I think like a, a, a lot of, maybe like a, just a healthy, yeah. like, um, yeah, the, the approach was just health food. Okay. And we found that that was amazing because we didn't scare anyone off. Like there's a certain intimidation I find that um, puts but would be vegans or people that maybe isn't in their life path to ever become vegan, but maybe they could get close to it yeah, you yeah. know and just try different foods and at least not have a stigma towards the vegan community mm. so it was very important for us like as a learning curve to never use yeah. almost the word when we were selling like our food and juices in this tiny little village and i find it really cool like um don't sell what you're trying to promote i guess is the the message there like yeah. it, it um like what made me become vegan as, as well as the animals is seeing other people that were just glowing, man. They were just so healthy looking, like the whites of their eyes. I'm in bad state right now for me to be using that. I get exactly. But like, they looked like they were so rested. Their hair like had the, all shiny, like they were just like fantastic looking human beings. And I'm like, if I see someone like that, I always ask like, what are you doing? Usually yeah. they're getting sleep, they're eating well. Uh, their, their diet is fantastic, but also their digital diet is fantastic. Yeah. Like they're not taking in too much like, um, social media Oof, yes like just bad constantly as soon as they wake up stuff like that um so you you become super aware of of these things and go oh, i'm gonna yeah. like um introduce yeah. those things in my life but if that same person who was like glowing god walked over and said you should do this this yeah. this 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 you're immediately like well I you know that. um I but yeah so i've just waffled for that no, that's that is fabulous <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you then, so I feel the same. I love I love the vegan community. I love mm. the word veganism as like the community, if that makes sense. The yep. word vegan can scare people off and I tend to prefer the word plant-based. Yep. If like I have to use vegan because like people don't understand the so, whole, you know what yeah, I mean? When you go to a restaurant and they yeah. say, I'm plant-based, they sort of look at you and they right. go, I'm okay. raw, I'm yeah. vegan. And they go, ah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's, I was vegetarian basically almost since birth, right? Yeah. And I oh, went, wow. yeah. And I went, I'm fourth generation vegetarian, which is crazy, mm. I know. But I'm the only, well, now I'm vegan, more people are going vegan in my family. But yeah. I've been vegan for five years now, so not as long as you. Yep. But it was always hard, and I've grown up with like, oh my God, is there even going to be a veggie burger available to now? Yeah. Well, we, ha we have a festival, you know what I mean, yeah. full of vegan foods. But I hear what you're saying, and I think it's really interesting to look at that. 
you know, that's what I say about not being perfect. I'm a perfect vegan. I don't eat anything that isn't vegan, yeah. but I'm not perfect in everything I do in my life. So I hate that connotation. Yeah, and also I think it's really like a responsibility as well among like people within this community or the vegan community to um, to also be very truthful with like ailments yeah. as well. That yeah. they're like, uh, there's this, like I think, skewed narrative that go vegan will fix all your sort yeah, of, yeah. I don't know, medical ailments. It's simply not true. I've yeah. got friends of mine that would love to be vegan and they have been vegan and they just couldn't do it. They've like got tendon issues, like the yeah. de debilitating things that they can't fix. And I don't have all the answers and things yeah. like this. I'm not educated well enough. I just know what seems to work for my body. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there, there's a responsibility there to, for us to not uh, kind of judge and push people out Give a and understand that there's there's plenty of different paths up the same mountain. And awareness is just crucial so that people aren't habitually buying things like like full of awful, like bad quality produce just out of like, because they've done it for years, like going to get a chicken sandwich in yeah. Tesco as a meal deal or something like that. Maybe looking at that going, wow, actually, I don't need that. I could get something else. And um, it's you know, that's education, like you said, but I know what you mean. You don't want to, you don't want to sound like you said, I'm over educated than you because I'm vegan. I've learned more than you, but it's all about education. You've been influenced yeah. by people around you, educating you. Yeah. And all we're doing is vice versa. And people can educate us about other things, you know, yeah. The vegan community does encompass a lot, but I feel like there is so much more outside of it as well that can yeah. feed into the vegan community. We don't just want vegan people here. Like we yeah, are a festival. Totally, that's so yeah. in, so true. No, I'm glad you said that. Chef. I mean, that's that's the goal. That's what we were trying to do with our yeah. shop. It was like if we if we just were like sort of having this echo chamber, that's pointless. Shop would have been shut in no time. Like we passed it on to new people because we like music kicked off me and my, my partner was making jewelry like can't do it anymore but i bet that we wouldn't have had a choice if, if we made it an echo champ because those people and also we've got to have the conversation about junk food yeah you know, 100 like, I mean, yeah. like it's like like um and i, I know i'm I've, i'm hoping that the that your request to chat and sit down isn't just for us both to be like oh veganism is perfect it's no, wicked because no. it's not it's like it's not there's I, nine years ago, I was eating far better than I was now. I ne like I thought I'd never be in a drive through again in my life. Mm, I'd never yeah. like be uh, sort of having, have those sluggish like MSG, like yeah. filled like mornings again after takeaways. And like all of a sudden everything then becomes available. Yeah. And th the responsibility completely is mine. Exactly. Like to, to eat healthily, but there's, you know, um, I, I think the the options are focused more on yeah. like replicating yeah. bad habits from the past it's true. rather than being like this could be an amazing opportunity to step out of those um, tendencies yeah. into something that really is nourishing and that conversation then like earns respect yeah. from people outside of the vegan community 100%. way more it's weird it's like a gateway so okay you yeah, want to yeah. go and have your hamburger or your steak yeah. right but we can give you that option here but actually, what if we told you that there's an Ethiopian outside that yeah, gives yeah, you the yeah. most incredible pulses that yeah. will feed you in a way more... Uh, yeah. Healthy is a hard word, do you know what I mean? Like, it yeah. is difficult, it's complicated, and there's nothing wrong with people having fast food, you it's know? Balanced. It's balanced. But it's Nutritional, balanced. like, and that's, promotes yeah. good rest as well. It's and, so important, yeah. because, I mean, as a musician, you'll know. Like, if yeah. you go and eat... You can't eat this, like, if, if you're eating doesn't matter if it's a chicken burger or a meat burger or a vegan burger if you eat that stuff like and it's processed you yeah. will lose your voice because you don't get yeah. good rest your body isn't in a good like reparation cycle to yeah. recover after like 2 a.m finishes and eight hour drives and um like just you know yeah. no downtime and, and rest for the body and if you're putting bad food in it as well yeah. like then yeah, you can't continue. No. I think it's a gateway. So we're like offering people, you have a bad, like, not lifestyle, but like you have unhealthy choices within your lifestyle, let's say, that you're used to, you're comfortable with, because they're there, they're easy. Quite right? a lot of comfort every now and exactly. then. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And then we can give you the vegan option to do the same thing. But also once you're in there, you start to realize like, before I was vegan, I never like used humor. You know what I mean? It's like now it's in everything. Just because we don't have very much longer to chat. I just want to ask Sorry, I'm No, I love it. I love it. I could chat to you for ages. 
Um, just going back to social media, because that's actually a question I wanted to ask you. So you rose to fame on TikTok originally, yeah. and then Eurovision. Mm -hmm. Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> killing it. Uh, you're still killing it on social media. But I wanted to ask you if you still love social media, because obviously it's given you a platform. So it has this like positive aspect to it. But just yeah. like you said, it can be really unhealthy. So what is your your opinion? Um, same opinion as I have with like me going back down the drive through now. The yeah. drive through isn't forced, it doesn't have a tether to yeah. it and it's reeling me in. Like it's my responsibility. Same social media is benign. If every single one of us here put down our phones, they don't magically hop in to yeah. our hands <laughs> and like animate our thumbs. Like it's us, it's our responsibility. It's uh, we we are feeding like wolves. Essentially you've got to be very careful with it. It's about I th I think more than anything in music, it's the better so fetishization mm -hmm. of making incredibly young people yeah. famous yeah. and it damages their mind. I think it damages their view of the world. It damages them as, a, as an like actually an operating adult yeah. later in life, um, which leads to like the battles of depression and, and like all yeah, yeah. the that, that we kind of, that's been part of the music industry since it became yeah an industry and but it also is the same for like all of us just yeah, going yeah, about yeah. our everyday lives whether we're like on the outside looking in yeah. to these things we just become addicted um yeah it's it's our digital diet and how we respond yeah. to that that's uh key so in short i love the the positives of social yeah. media of social media i choose to focus on those and beware of the negatives and try and catch myself if i'm um, falling into those traps yeah. Thank you so much for chatting to me. I really appreciate it. It's been so lovely. Thank you for watching us today. Um, make sure to check out below. We'll obviously tag all of Sam's social channels. You probably don't need to know them, but he's Sam Ryder in case you didn't know. Thanks for watching and peace out. I'm going to go get some frozen peas and I'm in the perfect place <laughs> to get them as well. <laughs>